Rockstar. Doha. There we had some Omani local food in this beautiful restaurant. After lunch we strolled around the souk checking out the spices and souvenirs. We ended our day visiting the Al Alam Palace. Souk expert right here. Yeah. Think thing. Yeah, it's pretty lavish. Yeah. If you enter palaces and stuff, not bad. It's quite small though. <laughs> it's huge! This is beautiful. Can you figure out what is in this? Uh, I don't know, I'm not brave enough to guess. I think it's like 15 different kinds of um, ice cream and then like a few different kinds of uh, juice. Yeah. Very strange. And a custard like of some sort maybe. And yeah, that's syrup, syrup stuff. Holy and, shit. Uh, it's yeah. nasty. It's and, very uh, nasty. Fruit. Welcome to Oma. The next morning we woke up early and headed to the desert in search of camels and adventure. Men talking about tire pressure in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Oh, this is four by four wall there. Yeah. The Bedouin house. Yeah. And all, they all jumped in the four by four. And yeah, I know. That was priceless. Yeah. From sitting on the floor to being in a four by four. Exactly. So how was your camel ride? It was nice. The small camels here, and you ride on the back, and it's quite comfortable. <sighs> What's it? You like the desert? We are in Abadi. Uh, it's how 
how the local people call a little oasis. Yeah. So when you see palm trees, it's a vadi. Yeah, and, and it's, it's beautiful. It's really like everywhere around it's just rocks and desert, which is pretty cool. And then you get a place like this, it's super. With water and the palm trees and people are barbecuing, yeah. having a great time. Yeah, today's public holiday, so it's busy. Lifeguard, check. Jumper, check. Bravo! Talk us through your, your styling here. Yeah, your... So, I'm not sure if you know already, but we're in Oman. And um, we're in this beautiful wadi, which has water, and we can swim here. But there's a lot of uh, announcements here to respect the public conservation side. So they ask tourists to dress appropriately, which means women. Women must cover themselves. So we can swim in something like this or more. And there's also talk can about swim in. Yeah. It is a man's world. Yes. And we're going to swim right here.
are in Mutra in uh, Muscat. There's the souk and the fish souk and apparently a lot of seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> So we were in the main mosque in Muscat and it is grand. Opulent. It's only about 15 years old and um, it took them I think five years to build which is relatively quick for something this size. Um, this monster carpet here is made by 400 women apparently and took them four years. Chandelier from Austria, of course. And yeah, what a space. It's on the trolley cam, you can't see that though. So we're waiting for a flight to Qatar to London. <laughs> very tired. We were in Qatar waiting for a flight to London. Yeah, we had a great time. We definitely sorry. Here we are in Qatar waiting for a flight to London. We're very tired. Very, very tired. But we had a great time in Amman. Definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to travel there. Um, Try to spend five days or six days in Muscat because it's quite a big city. You need to drive around and everything outside. It takes time, but it's 
super. The only thing we didn't do that you won't see in the video is when you go scuba diving, but um, check that out, it's well worth it. And thank you for watching, and thank you for following, and thank you for subscribing. Give us a thumbs up. Bye.